it's me again and i am going to do some i have something really special planned but i'm going to do that at the very end uh first i want to do a little poem about flowers because i know that you guys have been planting and it would be nice to do a little poem regarding plants and flowers so you may remember it and you may uh, be learning it for the first time so here it goes it goes like this mary mary Quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver, silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Let's try that again. I'm going to say a line and then I'm going to leave space for you to say the line and then you try and remember it. I'll do it a couple of times. So it goes, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Mary, Mary quite contrary how does your garden grow how does your garden grow mary mary quite contrary mary mary quite contrary how does your garden grow mary mary quite contrary how does your garden grow with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty mates all in a row with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. I have a question for you. What does contrary mean? Hmm, contrary means that you're against something. I say one thing, you say, no, no, I don't agree. You're just always disagreeable, always not, always against. So Mary is always contrary. She goes, Mary, Mary, Quite. She's quite contrary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Now, I have, first of all, how does, what does is, um, flower start with? The word flower. It has that f -f -f sound, flower, right? And if you guessed an F, you would be correct. An F. And it actually has two sounds for flower. The first one is f, f flower, right? And the second one has a lusa, flower, flower, right? Flower. And I just wanted to show you an F. I drew this to make, help you remember if you want to try writing an F yourself. Uh, some of you probably already know how, but it's always fun to practice. You start at the top and I try to make it like a stem. So you got the stem of the plant for the flower. You go down and then you have a line, a longer line and a shorter line in the middle. And I try to make it look like, okay, here's a leaf branch and here's a leaf branch. So you go down the stem and then make a leaf branch and a smaller leaf branch. And then you, this is not part of an F, but it's to help you remember that flower starts with an F and then you have the L right goes down and then the roots down at the bottom or the grass the stem and then the grass so you have flower F and L so um before we go on my special place uh, my place here my apartment that's really special to me I want to show you one thing that you might want to do at home um, I made out of like a toilet paper roll because they're plenty around and you might as well use them for some fun stuff and I painted mine green you can color yours or paint it or you don't have to and I made some flowers right flowers to go inside my toilet paper roll. and I just use cardboard here you can use popsicle sticks and I glued flowers on them and the thing is and you could stick them in right stick them in like a bouquet there you go and in the poem Mary Mary quite contrary how does your garden grow with silver bells so they are not really silver bells but they're flowers that look like whoops flowers that look like silver bells silver bells and cockle shells type of shell 
right? And pretty maids all in a row. So those would be these kind of flowers, any kind of flowers, but they look like little girls or little maids all in a row. So we've got our silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Now, I am going to put on my hat because I want to take you to my special place. And I'm going to show you outside of this room and I'm going to take you up to some stairs that leads to a secret little garden, my special place. So see you in a little bit, okay? And here we go, up to my secret little private space. It's got, it's magic actually. And I'm gonna, sometimes you might see fairies up there. I don't know, maybe today. So we're going up the stairs and I'll let you see my secret little place up here. See my blue wall? Okay, here we go. I have plants, plants. And here's some more, here's basil. mint, my blue wall. This stuff I'm going to hang on my blue wall. Oh my goodness. Shh. Shh. You have to be quiet now. There's my fountain, but hold on. Shh. This is what makes it. Oh, there are some fairies. Look, there's some fairies in my garden. Oh my goodness, you gotta be quiet. Look, there they are. Some fairies. Oh, now how is that? That's really special. Now look, here's my, shh, we're gonna quietly go away from the fairies. There's my, uh, my sundial. Had a moment there, couldn't remember. Sundial, you have to lay it flat for it to work. And my fountain. My plants, some of my trees don't look so good because they were inside and when I brought them out, they um, didn't do so well, but they always come back. And some of them, here's some, here's some flowers. And again, some of these plants like this one, is these are Gerber daisies. I have a few of them. And I bring them inside in the winter and they always look that way. And then when I cut by midsummer, they're actually really nice. Here's some more plants. Look, more plants, look at this. Now my deck has a skylight. So I get a light in my apartment. So, my deck, you have to walk around the skylight to um, use this deck. Now this is a sad story. My daughter sent me a lemon tree and it was full of leaves and the leaves fell off and then it grew flowers, lots of flowers. And I think it's seen better days, but I'm hoping that, um, some leaves come back. Oh, look at this. This rock usually, or stone, usually means that there is a fairy, another fairy around. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Shh. It's a purple one. It's hiding there. Okay. More flowers going around my deck. Here's some more flowers. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll see some more fairies in my secret little garden here. Here's a bird cage. All right. Oh, there, there's one. Do you see? Right there. There's a fairy. Oh, 
oh, you guys are lucky. You've seen so many of my fairies here. Usually they don't come out. I don't know. And here's a tree. Look at this. It has new growth on it right here. New growth. It's lighter than the other. See, it's lighter. That's all new growth. And this tree came from the yard next door and I pulled it through so I get a branch here and it has beautiful flowers. Now this looks really ugly, but I have, I grow tomatoes in there and you ask, why is there a cage here? And I have to tell you, it is because those rascally squirrels get in and eat my tomatoes here. Look at this. Now I wanna show you one more thing and then I don't want to disturb the fairies anymore, so. Um, see this wall here? This, my daughter and I painted. We got on the fire escape and we painted that because it was just an ugly piece of wood. And we thought we'd have fun together painting this. Anyway, there you go. I just want to remind you guys Here's my, my deck, and I want you guys to remember the poem, Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary, How Does Your Garden Grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. And the fairy is going to say goodbye for now. Hey, fairy and flower both start with F. Have a good day. Bye.